Okay, here's the deal. We're in beautiful Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada on a new thing called the Tap Room Trail, which connects 11 breweries and cideries together at one giant adventure. Here's the crew. Here's the plan. Over the past 10 years, the craft brewing scene in Fredericton has exploded. With 26 producers of beer, cider, wine, and spirits, fermenting, brewing, and distilling over 250 different bottles, cans, flagons, and growlers, where do you even begin? Well, that's what this video is about. The Taproom Trail. Here's the deal. Start at any of the 11 taprooms and get yourself a map. From there, you travel around the city collecting stamps as you try beer and cider. You can earn prizes along the way. I've assembled some friends, which is quite easy when there's beer involved, and we're gonna show you how it works. Ready, three, two, one, action. 11 is a lot, so only do a few or do it over an entire weekend or else you might be sleeping in the bushes. We're at our first location, which is maybe, and they give a $1 discount to people with bicycles, and that is us. So, let's go. Maybe's rustic tap room is a hidden gem in the city and home to one of my favorite IPAs in Fredericton. Don't spill it, don't spill it, don't spill it. Oh. Nice. This is the Workhorse IPA. It is the flagship beer at Maybe's and is my first recommendation of the day. If you like IPA, you'll love this beer. Workhorse, check it out. One tap room down and four more to go. Next stop, downtown Fredericton. Behind the scenes, what you don't see is the guy running with the helmet on and the GoPro on his chest. <laughs> Stop number two, some cider at Red Rover. Red Rover is a new Brunswick original, producing international award-winning cider in an exciting variety of styles. And grab one. Continuing my list of favorite drinks in Fredericton, this is Maple Grove Cider here at Red Rover. You might think it'd be too sweet because maple syrup inside of it, but it's actually not. It's delicious. And if you're at Red Rover, see if they have Maple Grove. Stop number three for us on the taproom trail is the King West Brewing Company inside of Rustico. Good beer and good pizza. King West features wood-fired Neapolitan pizza that they carefully pair with their craft beer. Directly off the walking bridge, Picaroons brews English-style ales in a park-like setting. They say, we make beer for people who love to drink it. Give me a big smile. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Pickaroon's Dooryard is the herald of summer in Fredericton. When they release the seasonal beer, you know it's summertime in the city. We are closing in <laughs> on our last location for the day. It's Trailway. It's good. Trailway Brewing Company produces a wide variety of styles but specializes in aromatic and flavorful hot forward ales. It's upside down. There you sort go. Of? That's amazing. Intermission. So besides just the glory of tasting delicious cider and beer all across Fredericton by doing the tap trail, if you do get your stamps, you win some prizes. If you get six stamps, you get a bumper sticker. If you get eight stamps, you get a t-shirt. Not this one. It's cooler than this one. And if you get 11 stamps, all 11, your name goes into a draw for a craft beer festival weekend happening in 2021. Okay, that was five tap rooms on the trail, which is plenty for one day. Let's take a quick look at the other six we didn't make it to this time. York County Cider. This summer, people have been flocking here for their trivia night, their outdoor patio, and their strawberry lime cider. Put all these three together, and you're guaranteed to have a great time. 
Next up is the CAP, formerly called the Capital Complex. This multi-room party spot has a space for just about any vibe you're looking for. They've just opened a record store and have their own nano brews on tap. The CAP is a classic. Our next tap room is Mama's Brew Pub. It's on the north side, and it's everything I could possibly want in a pub. Friendly and funny staff, great beer, and a cozy atmosphere. I'll be back here for sure. Next up is Grimross Brewing Company. With live music and a beautiful open seating area, this tap room has another of my favorite beer in the city. Check this out. Cheval d'Or might be one of the best beers in the entire city. It's made by Grimross and they use Belgian yeast, <laughs> which is peppery, fruity, and a little bit spicy. I love this beer. You gotta try it. This is Gahan House Riverside, our next tap room. It's high chandeliered ceiling, dark polished wood, and long row of taps makes this place glow. Serving oysters and a huge selection of its own craft brew, it's a beautiful spot. Next up is Greystone Brewing Company. From the day it opened in 2016, it's been packed. Also, one of my favorite beers in the city is the Patagonia Pale Ale. This beer is delicious and you have to try it to come to Fredericton. So now you've seen all 11 breweries and cideries on the Taproom Trail. And if you're still feeling thirsty, I'm here at the Joyce. And they've got another 36 beer on tap and these super cool t-shirts you get for getting eight stamps on your map. Before we go, I've got a couple questions for you. What's your favorite beer in Fredericton and which is the first brewery or cidery you went to this summer? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike Corey and I can't wait to see you exploring Fredericton, New Brunswick, Canada this summer.